folks, welcome to the uh, midnight edition of Mediocre Cover Band Guitar Guy. So, I've gotten a few questions about my pedal board, and I said I'd put it up, and I've just been too lazy and uh, to do so. But, uh, because there's nothing fancy about my pedal board at all. So, you had to bear with me, but like I said, I had a couple questions uh, about it. So, it's uh, nothing really expensive or flashy on it because I'm poor and uh, poor people don't have fancy pedal boards. Uh, if they feed their kids, they don't. So um, this is what I have and basically it's a uh, Nobles ODR1. It's one of the newer versions because I can't fathom spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one of the originals that are really sought after. Then we've got the uh, J-Rocket Archer Icon, which is a clone clone, and probably my favorite overdrive. Um, worst thing is that it's late at night, so we can't have any of this shit up loud, because uh, you really need to have this thing up, uh, the level up on this, like at 12 o'clock, which it is not now, uh, to appreciate. Then I have a blues driver. Now this thing is new, and it's... Um, work in progress. I usually have a, um, a soul food on this uh, spot on my pedal board, but it sounds very, very similar to the Icon. So I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. Not sure how I'm digging it. You might see the soul food back pretty soon. Then there's a Digitech drop pedal, which uh, is great for me because it allows me to not drag an extra guitar tuned half a step down, um, which I was doing beforehand, so I just leave it in the very first uh, setting there, because the dial just goes all the way, you know, down the different, you know, you go like right down to a full octave, and uh, I, I just keep it in E flat there. That that's pretty much it. Um, that's for some of the more heavier tunes, like the Guns N' Roses and shit, because, like, Sweet Child of Mine sounds like Sweet Child of Mine, half step down. Uh, we got the tuner. Everybody's got one. Um, a lot of, you know, it's either the Polytune, the Pitch Black by Chord, or uh, the, the TU. This is a TU3. I've had this thing maybe 10 years. I don't know how long they've been up. Maybe not 10 years, but uh, I've had it a while. I had the other one, the TU2, and... <clears throat> I literally gave up, which was weird, because Boss makes shit to last forever, but I guess I had the shit gigged out of it. You can see this one here is, like, beat up. Um, so this is another... Charles Lochter's given me a lot of pedals uh, in my lifetime, and um, this is one that he gave me over Christmas, and I'm not a big uh, compressor guy, but I've got a telly now, and um, as you can see... And this thing works really well with, uh, with the Telecaster and the single coils, especially when you're playing clean. It's okay dirty as well, but uh, I usually kick it off if I'm going to use any dirt on my telly. Um, another pedal uh, Charles gave me when I was looking for a coarse pedal. Uh, it's not overly expensive, but it does the job. And, uh, you know, once again, don't use it a lot, but when I do need to use it, it's there. Then there is the Carbon Copy by MXR which is probably it's on all the time and like this is clean you can you know which is pretty cool but if you want to sound fancy you can add some modulation and put everything up at 12 o'clock and you get more of a pedal as well. Um, 
I usually crank the delay up as much as I can. Where it's not too annoying. Just gonna... Because I'm not a big fan of reverb. So, just to give you an idea of uh, probably my drive pedals, like I said, I'm not going to do a demo where I go through like uh, different variations of like uh, levels on the, the drive because you can go online and find somebody much more talented than I am to give you a demo. But these are my three overdrives. These are really awesome. This is my favorite. So, this is. Once again, this is the clean. Um, this is the archer. appreciate it it needs to get up a lot louder I don't really use this this one's up a little bit past 12 o'clock on the um, on the uh, drive on the game and uh, yeah, those are th I didn't want to get into a bunch of pentatonic licks like you always get the guys that do those pedal things and they're just same thing for every pedal um, and this is the course like I said it's I don't even know what brand name it is to be honest with you and it just so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, this thing just really doesn't do much with these type of pickups but You asked for it, and that's all to it. Like I said, there's nothing fancy on there. There's nothing that's irreplaceable. I shouldn't say that because something will happen to it or whatever. <laughs> that's my luck. Um, but that's my pedal board. Uh, it works for me right now, and we all change our pedal boards around. I've had about 500 different overdrives. The most consistent overdrive that I've had on, on a board, and not just not this particular pedal itself, but Every board I've ever had since these pedals have been available from Boss, and people rag on Boss, but I mean, you, the thing is, is that they, they, um, they've been around for a long time, and they were the first people to really get it right. In the 80s, everybody loved to use them. Uh, we all, I mean, I remember when I got my first plastic Boss, like, pedal board with four pedals in it, and uh, I thought I'd arrived at that point, because it was awesome, but, uh, People rag on them and then go out and buy $500 Strymon pedals and then you go on Marketplace on Facebook or all these and then they're selling them and changing shit around because they don't like the sound of them or something, I don't know. And then you go and buy shit like this again. But um, yeah, that's it for, for my pedal board, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and uh, appreciate it very much. Um, all the uh, the support is nice and uh, a little bit flustered like I said it's late um, and I really don't know how to explain any of this stuff like I said you want to check it out there's a dozen guys on Facebook who can do a lot better job uh, doing it but these are the pedals I like and um, they've been this thing's been on my board now for two years that might be that might be a record I don't know it's actually might even be three years yeah it might be it might be pre-covid pedal Wow, this thing's been on it pretty long. But this is the oldest pedal I have right here. I forgot to mention the wah pedal. That's actually, and you may laugh when you see this because I play in a covers band and we, we, we play like a lot of, uh, and don't mind my, my cats because like I said, I'm the L. Bundy of cover bands from Married with Children. That's the reference. Uh, we have a cat who likes to sleep on this thing. It's a Zach Wild Overdrive. And... Um, I've probably had that since 2007 so it's it's there and uh, it works perfectly it, it doesn't give me any issues knock on some wood and uh, hopefully not so Jimmy Dunlop and boss like these guys make great pedals everything on this board is pretty much 
made like a tank and easy to replace. And when you're gigging constantly in bars where people are wasting, you know, drinks and stuff. Um, and here's the culprit here down here now. Um, no, he's gonna take off. I was gonna grab the cat there. He, he's one of his friggin' bed's gone. Because uh, like I said, he likes to sleep on my cuddle board. But that's it. So anyway, guys, cheers and thanks for tuning in.